you only have an 8 gallon bucket, a 5 gallon bucket, and a 3 gallon bucket. Only using these buckets and a limited amount of water, obtain exactly 4 gallons of water in two of the buckets. So I hope you've already attempted this problem. If you haven't, I hope you'll pause the video and give it a try. In our solution, we actually won't waste any water. We'll use exactly 8 gallons of water to obtain 4 gallons of water in two of the buckets. And we'll use this table here to keep track of our steps, where each column represents the amount of water in the 8 gallon, 5 gallon, and 3 gallon buckets. For the first step, we'll fill up the 8 gallon bucket with 8 gallons of water. So we'd have 8 gallons here, 0 gallons here, and 0 gallons here. Step two, we're going to use these 8 gallons in the 8 gallon bucket to fill up the 5 gallon bucket. So in the next step, we would have 5 gallons in the 5 gallon bucket which will leave us with three gallons in the eight gallon bucket. And we still have zero gallons in the three gallon bucket. Next, we're going to use the five gallons in the five gallon bucket to fill up the three gallon bucket. When we do this, we'd have three gallons in the three gallon bucket, which would leave two gallons in the five gallon bucket. And we still have three gallons in the eight gallon bucket. In our next step, we're going to take the three gallons in the three gallon bucket and pour them into the eight gallon bucket that currently has three gallons of water. That would give us six gallons in the eight gallon bucket. We still have two gallons in the five gallon bucket, and now we'd have zero gallons in the three gallon bucket. Next, we're going to pour the two gallons in the five gallon bucket into the three gallon bucket. So we'd have two gallons in the three gallon bucket, zero gallons in the five gallon bucket, and we still have six gallons in the eight gallon bucket. Next, we'll fill up the five gallon bucket using the six gallons in the eight gallon bucket. That would give us five gallons in the five gallon bucket, one gallon left in the eight gallon bucket, and we still have two gallons in the three gallon bucket. Next, we'll use the five gallons in the five gallon bucket to fill up the three gallon bucket, which currently has two gallons in it. So we'd pour one of these five gallons into the three gallon bucket that would give us three gallons in the three gallon bucket, four gallons in the five gallon bucket, and we still have one gallon in the eight gallon bucket. And for our last step, we will pour the three gallons in the three gallon bucket into the eight gallon bucket, which currently has one gallon. When we do this, when we do this, we would have four gallons in the eight gallon bucket. We still have four gallons in the five gallon bucket, and now we have zero gallons in the three gallon bucket. And we've completed our task. We now have exactly four gallons of water in two of the buckets. We have four gallons in the eight gallon bucket and four gallons in the five gallon bucket. I hope you found this explanation helpful.